After days of heavy fighting, dozens of soldiers on motorbikes came rushing away from the front line into the eastern city of Goma in Democratic Republic of Congo. They've been battling fighters of M23, widely understood to be a proxy of neighboring Rwanda, although Rwanda denies it. It caused panic. Thousands of people thought M23 had reached the edge of the city. I come from Kibumba. I ran away from the M23 and got to Kanya Ruchina camp on Saturday. Then I heard gunfire and people said M23 has arrived. That's why we decided to carry our belongings and run away. We are asking for our soldiers to be helped with reinforcements because there are too few soldiers to defend the whole province. Congo's army said a group of soldiers had panicked unnecessarily while others continued fighting. People here are scared of M23. The rebel group took the city of Goma in 2012, also with uh, Rwandan backing. The following year it withdrew and then it was defeated by Congo's armed forces. It resumed its rebellion a year ago, so people here are fearing that M23's fighters might take the city of Goma once again. Congo's army is fighting M23 on three fronts, including with attack helicopters. It says M23 has sophisticated weapons from Rwanda. Last time, Congo eventually won the war with international support. This time, the government's relations with the UN peacekeepers have deteriorated and it doesn't have much help. I can assure you our armed forces are doing well on the battlefield and are so far containing the enemy at the town of Kibumba. Kibumba is about 20 kilometers north of Goma. As some soldiers fled, others were sent forward. The people here had already fled their homes and were in camps when the panic set in. Conflicts involving Rwanda and Uganda have been displacing people here for decades. There's no sign they'll be left in peace anytime soon. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Goma, Democratic Republic of Congo.